Hello everyone, it's Geisha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make these trays. These are custom made for a shelf, so this fits perfectly on a shelf I make. And the only things I use to make these is foam core from the Dollar Tree and heavy duty masking tape. This is from Scotch, a ruler, scissor and a craft knife. And so this is my base. I already cut everything to size, but basically what you do is um, when you want to cut something, mine is one three quarter inch high. And if you ha don't have a ruler like this, get a metal ruler so that you don't cut your ruler. The newer the blade, the cleaner this is. Okay, I'll put this to size. And I don't need my ruler anymore. So my long size sides are the same size. And I will grab masking tape. Put half of it on here. And it's amazing how sturdy this tray is going to be. Oh, not on my table. So then I will fold this up so that no, nothing is sticking out. Place my side straight up. And with my thumb, I line up the side with the bottom. Now I'm going to move it over over here, line it up, and then just let it fall down. Just let the tape fall down. And there are some creases in here that that's okay. It's not going to affect it. So again, place half of the tape on my side. So now I need to measure the inside here. Which is 11 and a half. No, 11 five eighths. So I will trim my pieces to 11 five eighths. one first and see if it fits properly. Nice. 11 5 eighths. Now I'll do the corners and I will grab little pieces, fold it in half and then push it in the corner. Just do it like that so that my hand isn't in the way and fold out. Now this is heavy duty so it sticks quite easily. And firmly. Okay, so now we'll cover the bottom corners. So 
forgot to do the corners on the outside first because that will give them a bit more strength. Preferably you want to do that before you're doing the bottom. Okay, so now I will so now I will actually finish the top by placing a strip of tape right over the top and then okay. more to the inside than to the outside then the inside is all taped up And I will wrap one more time all around, just for extra sturdiness. All right, another box done. So what you could do is, you could put a piece of paper in here and make it all pretty. Um, I'm going to fill it so then you're not really going to see the bottom anyway. But if you felt so inclined and I have a nice piece of paper, I could always glue it in the bottom. For now, I'm going to leave it like it is. Now, this was a full roll of tape, and this is my third box. So you can see there's uh, a lot of boxes can be made. So I can make three boxes out of two sheets. And uh, yeah, they work, uh, they work good. So that was it for today. Have yourselves a very good day, and talk later. See you in the next video. Bye.